Sparkle Squad, this is Monica, and I have another Dollar Read box for you for the month of February 2023. So let's get into it, shall we? Just to mention, my little gloves, these are new, guys. What do you think? It's got sparkle thread in there. Isn't that awesome? So I just actually opened these up, and this is from a gal called The Wool Witch. She's in the UK, and she has a wonderful shop that is full of all kinds of beautiful hand crocheted elements. And you know me, I've got to do the fingerless gloves. But what I really liked about hers is that they incorporated these sparkly threads. I don't know what the, if you call this ombre or whatever, but this has some of the blues and the teal colors that I was looking for. Check her shop out at The Wool Witch. She's got a website, but you can also find her on Etsy. I have some strands plus some beads here in the dollar bead box, but then I also subscribe to the monthly bead bag. They include their bead bag in with my box and that saves on shipping and I'm fine with that. But those are just strictly check fire polish in the three and four millimeter size strands. But you do get some strands of beads in your dollar bead box. If you're just looking for a few strands and then some little pieces to fill in your bead stash, this is really awesome for you. And I'm going to get into showing you what I got. So first up on the strands is a 5 by 9 millimeter check glass 3 hole spear red orange. And you get 20 pieces. Really an interesting shape there. It does have the 3 holes. And next we have a four millimeter check glass drook with the crystal Maria. And that Maria is that kind of a gold finish there. It almost looks like a rainbow slick effect on the beads. Really pretty. And then we have a matte jet check glass pinch. And that is a three by five. I think that is what this is because that looks matte. Really an interesting shape there. They're putting a lot of different textures and shapes. We have a four millimeter check glass druck hyacinth, which suggests to me to be like a purple or pink, but I have a bright orange here. That is the correct size, but I don't think the color is correct, but I do love that orange and I don't get a lot of orange, so that's cool. Next we have an eight millimeter check fire polish, crystal vintage vitriol. That is super sparkly, lots of colors in that, very versatile. And because it's the eight millimeter size, that is awesome. That is usually your typical, like a standard bead size is the eight millimeter. I love them all, of course, because I can use them for everything. A 12 by 14 millimeter check glass starburst in the crystal with jet. Now these are really cool looking. I don't know if you can tell, but it does have that starburst pattern in the center. It's transparent, but it has that black etching. Check glass beaded chain in the gray and jet mix. This is really neat. Now, it's not a um, really huge amount of chain, beaded chain, for you to do a necklace. You could do that for a bracelet. And as a matter of fact, they've already got kind of a focal right there for you if you wanted to make that as a bracelet. But if you have any beads that are similar, you can create your own beaded links. Now we're going to move on to the little packages here. So I have an 8 by 11 millimeter check glass melon. And this has like a silver look to it. Uh, it's jet with silver wash. Really nice. I like that shape. Then we've got some check glass tabular squares 10 millimeter size tangelo topaz mix. It says fall to me, like an autumn type bead or something tropical. And I have a pewter geometric flat round 10 millimeter size. You get four pieces of those. And some check fire polish crystal five millimeter size beads. Catches the light nicely there. Swarovski Margarita Bead 3700. It's 12 millimeter size crystal copper. Now, Swarovski is going out, or, you know, they've already fizzled out of the beading community, and there's a lot of various beading suppliers that are trying to fill in the vacuum that's left behind. Moving to the other side of the board here, I've got some check glass drooks and a matte jet 4 millimeter, 40 pieces of those. You know, it always seems like 40 pieces or 50 pieces should be like a huge bag of something, even those tiny beads, and when you actually see it there, <laughs> you know, it doesn't look like you've got that many, but you do. Then we have a check glass two hole crescent crystal seven by 16 millimeter. That has a little curve. You can do lots of things with these crescent beads. I have um, got several ideas and not enough time. So I think I'm going to challenge myself to make time. 
a Tierra Cast Check Rosette Button. Oh, that's what that was. Okay, it's a 12 by 12 millimeter antique silver plate. And Tierra Cast, I love you. You always have such pretty little designs. Very dainty and pretty. It's a little button. You can use that as a closure or however you want to do that. A pendant if you like. Then we have a check glass meteorite in etched black with gold. It's a 13 by 13 millimeter and there are two pieces there. I still don't know why they're calling it meteorite, but that, we get these every now and again in the different colors and finishes and things. They're pretty cool. Check glass elephants, oh, gray with gold, four pieces, 10 by 15 millimeter. Now what's funny is I just got finished buying some little pink elephants and I'll be showing those to you soon, I hope. Those are really cute, those little gray elephants. This is another Swarovski element. Wow, this is a 5811 pearl. Its colors vary. Mine is an orange tone and it's 14 millimeter in size, so it's quite large. This is almost like Halloween. I'm getting Halloween vibes in a way. Isn't that weird? Really neat. So then they are also including, again, some of these little metallic mixes. Check glass, this is matte gunmetal and bronze. So it's picking up some of the orange as well as the dark tones, the charcoal, the silver top deal here. So this is really a neat little box. I enjoy this. This is gonna be a lot of fun to try to figure out how to incorporate some fresh designs in my non-Halloween vibe. Now we're gonna look at a bead bag for February, 2023. And again, these are three and four millimeter sizes. So the three millimeters are ultra tiny little beads and I don't tend to work a whole, whole lot with them unless I'm doing my earrings. Sometimes they coordinate the colors uh, so that you get the same color in both the three and the four millimeter size. It is nice whenever they do have both sizes in that same color because you can hang, you can have the larger one in your bracelet necklace and the smaller one in your earrings. Or also to end the design. First up is an opaque orange in the four millimeter. And we do have a coordinating three millimeter strand. That is cool. And it, it's opaque, so it's not that transparent. It has a fire to it because of the cut, but it doesn't have a finish on it like a Maria. So I really like the look of this, ultra sparkly. Yay! Then an opaque gray. Ah, looks like we've got both sizes in that as well. Whoops. That is a three millimeter and four millimeter opaque gray. Super pretty. Goes with my elephantes. <laughs> I like the fire to that without it having to have any kind of finish on it. So that's lovely. Then we have Matte Jet Maria. Now this has a Maria finish to it. So as you turn it around, it's got the silver and the gold. But it's really cool looking. And that coordinates very well with a lot that's going on here in this particular box. So I've got both sizes in that. Now the last strands, for whatever reason, are not coordinated. So I will go with the 4 millimeter size first. So in the 3 millimeter size, this is the Jet Silver Travertine. You see how tiny it is, but it's silver. And then in the four millimeter size, it's not coordinating, but it this is the jet with all that sparkle. I love everything here. I, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share this to any of your beading friends that might love these jewelry making supplies and uh, trying to get introduced to the dollar bead box or the bag. I would appreciate you sharing that. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for being here and have a sparkle day, y'all. Bye.